to go into the starting gate and had the nervous breakdown and this is always a very nervous spot in the race for his connections he knows this gate crew one way you can always uh, get a hold of an intractable horse is uh, grab him by the ear and uh, take him in you don't like to see anything upsetting him now he's unleashing those same kicks that he did in the prince of wales you want this horse to go in settled we see ernie samuel now he's got three horses so he's going to be one of the busiest uh, observers of this race i know how delighted he is that sandy holly can Go on Todd of Rum. Well, they're moving into line now for the 99th running of the Breeders. You can see a few of the horses milling about. This is a good chance for us to go upstairs and get some pre-race comments from our colleague, Danny Loisel. Well, it's been 26 years since Canada last crowned a triple crown champion. With approval, seeks to rectify that situation this afternoon. Twelve other runners will attempt to uh, thwart them in that bid. Chief among them, the uh, Samson Farm entry. We're just waiting on one horse, Character Builder. They're at the post. They're off in the Breeder Stakes. With approval broke well. Toledo Salamanca, Royal Priesthood, comes away in third. Wavewise broke fourth, stroll away from the extreme outside, and Todd of Rum. They're running through the far turn. Up on the outside, Wavewise is challenging for the early lead. Royal Priesthood is right there. Stroll away is third, with the approvals gathered back off the pace in fourth. Todd of Rum is fifth. Toledo Salamanca is sixth. High wire dancer, then character builder. And they're going to cross over the main track and onto the inside turf course. On the outside, it's Wavewise. On the inside, Royal Priesthood as they move in front of us for the first time. Stroll away is on the outside, third, with approval, going well toward the hedge in fourth. Todd of Rum is fifth, Toledo Salamanca is sixth, High Wire Dancer seventh, Voikin is eighth, Most Valiant is ninth, to the inside Park and Run is tenth, Stellar Knight eleventh, Character Builder is twelfth, and Chimpote Bay is thirteenth, half a mile, was in forty-eight and three. They run into the clubhouse turn now. Royal Priesthood is closest to the hedge, and on the outside, Wave Wise goes with him. Those two argue for the lead. Stroll away is third with approval to the inside fourth. He's going to need some racing room. Todd of Rum is fifth, about four lengths off the lead. Park and run at the hedge in six. Toledo Salamanca in between three-year-olds. Then Loiken, high wire dancer, stellar night. On the outside, most valiant character builder is 12th. And Chapote Bay is 13th. They continue along the backstretch. Three quarters and 14 and one. The mile and 40 and one. Seymour looks for room. He has it between horses now with with approval and he accelerates up on the outside on the inside Toledo Salamanca has made a move right there is wave wise and with approval the battle shapes up as they run through the far turn it's with approval a force to be reckoned with as they come to the quarter pool he takes the lead Toledo Salamanca second wave wise is third Todd of Rum putting in a run towards the inside and they're coming through the stretch and here he comes it's with approval by four. Toledo Salamanca on the outside. Most valued is third with approval. He's widening with every stride. With approval has done it. He wins the Breeders' Stakes and the Bank of Montreal Triple Crown. And he certainly steps himself a champion this afternoon. Finishing second, most valiant than Toledo Salamanca. Top of rum. Character builder, Chapote Bay, Stellar Knight, High Wire Dancer, Loiken, Royal Priesthood, Park and Run, Wave Wise, and finishing last was Stroll Away. Well, enough about that stuff, Ron and Jim, about him not distancing himself from the field. He certainly did it today. What an impressive victory. The mile and a half in 229. Back to you. Thank you, Dan. A tremendous day for King Haven Farms. Ernie Samuel looks on, and uh, I think nods his approval for with approval Donnie Seymour's first ever victory in the Breeders and there is the flag that was representative of the first jewel the victory in the Queen's Plate back on July the 9th Jim your thoughts you can put an asterisk beside this horse's name he's one of the great Canadian breads now because of his achievement not only before but also here in his coronation somewhat uh, reminiscent of Secretariat when he pulled away to win the Triple Crown in the Belmont and they've already been about a mile and uh, Three eighths to this point, and look at him. He's got great grass action himself. He's just like he's coming off a springboard there. And Donnie Seymour showed unbelievable confidence on this horse the first part of the race. We know he wants to be on the outside, but he was content to save ground and let him be on the inside in traffic, biding his time. And when he got to the wire, he was about eight lengths back. He had circled the field and come on. 
and his uh, running time of 2.29 was only a full second off the course standard. And we see them coming to the wire now. They have an eighth of a mile to go on the extreme right of your screen. The brilliant, brilliant, graceful, graceful, graceful picture we have here of with approval. And beside his name, as I said, you can put an asterisk. And beside that, you can put the total of $1,819,699 as the all-time Canadian bread leading earner. His nickname is Snoopy because he's always nosing around in the barns and often at the wire, but not today. It's a decisive victory, and as Jim suggests, it's worth a lot of money, and it's worth a place in Canadian horse racing history. We'll be back for a word from the winner's circle as we can...